Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com and we're going to continue on with our tutorial today on how to create a character with Anime Studio. Uh, what we're going to do right now is pick up where we left off. We're going to create the eyebrows and I'm going to show you how to use a blend morph in this tutorial. So we're going to start by creating a new vector layer above our face layer and above our eyelids layer so that our eyebrows always show no matter what. So come down here, you're on face, and click this and insert a new vector layer. Double click it, and we'll rename it in all caps as eyebrows. And by making it all caps, that'll just make it easy to find later on because we're going to use this a lot in our animation. All right, we're just going to create some simple eyebrows. Remember, you can zoom in just by scrolling with your mouse wheel. That's all I'm doing here. And we're going to, we'll just use like three points. We've got auto stroke on. We don't need any of these other ones on. Uh, we got our stroke width set to four. And uh, we won't worry about the fill. So just quickly make a couple, make a little line. And then we've only got two points, so we'll add another one. Boom, boom. Translate. I try to make these look pretty much the same. Uh, because these don't look normal, as you can see, most human eyebrows don't do this. What we'll do is we'll click uh, on this point and come up here to our curvature tool. And we'll, actually, that's a little too curvy, so we'll bring it back a little bit just by clicking and dragging to the left. And then uh, same thing with this one, click and drag it to the right to make it a little more curvy. And that looks more natural. And now we'll grab our thickness tool, our width tool. And just play around so you get these looking right. If you guys want, you can download this file on my website. Just go to cartoonlearning.com and subscribe to the newsletter and you'll have access to this file and you can just download it and follow along at home. Uh, we'll thin these down a little bit. That looks about right. All right, now go to your window screen and open up your action screen. Now here's the trick with a blend morph. Uh, it, it's directly related to an action. So we're gonna do like we did before and create an action. We're gonna highlight the eyebrows layer, come up here and create a new action and we'll name it uh, angry, okay? Now the trick to using a blend morph is that you stay down here on frame one. If you go past frame one and make any change, it's not going to count for your blend morph. You won't have a blend morph created. So just stay on frame one, make all the changes you want to make, and then later on, you'll be able to blend between these different morphs. All right, so let's turn our eyebrows into some angry eyebrows. So we're just going to grab the translate tool, and for angry eyebrows, we'll bring them down like this, uh, kind of give it a sinister look. That looks pretty good. All right, as you can see, we never came off of frame one in our timeline. So now let's exit out of here, just double click on main line. We're actually in our animation main timeline now. This is where all of your animation will happen. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know the frame the, the scene that we were just in is not something that will stick it in your main line. So anyway, we will insert our blend morph now. Now you cannot insert a blend morph on frame zero. So just come in here to you know frame 12 or whatever. Click on animation, blend morphs, and now you have the ability... Oops, hold on. Let me do this a different way so it's easier for you to see. You have the ability to take your character and adjust his eyebrows from normal down to angry. Now if we want, 
we just click OK and we've inserted this into our timeline. So if we go back in time and play it, it will take 12 frames for it to achieve that blend morph. Now if we wanted to just take 6 frames to achieve the blend morph, we would come up to frame 6, uh, click animation, blend morphs, slide the default all the way over, and click OK. And now you'll see it just takes from frame 6 to frame 12 to do the blend morph. So I'm actually going to delete these now and show you one more thing. This is where blend morphs get really handy. Let's We've clicked on our eyebrows layer. Let's create another blend morph and we'll call this uh, right raised. And we're going to raise our character's right eyebrow. So we're on frame 1 and we've got our translate points tool and I'm just going to grab all three points and raise them up. Alright, now we'll double click mainline, uh, come down here into our animation, animation, blend morphs, and now we have both of these that we've created. So we could go angry, we could go right raised, or we can go angry and raise the right one. And we can blend any combination of these. That's why they call it a morph. So I hope that makes sense. All right, boom. Through the magic of time-lapse photography, I've created nine different blend morphs for you to play around with at home. So like I said, you can download this file and then you can follow along at home. In the next tutorial, we're gonna adjust the different points of the face to give it some perspective and to bring it into the right shape because obviously we're not done yet. This looks pretty stupid. Uh, but, like I said, uh, there's nine different blend morphs in here. You don't have to bother to create them for yourself. Just go ahead and, and uh, go on my website, cartoonlearning.com, and sign up for the free newsletter, and you will start receiving emails with uh, free Anime Studio and uh, transparent background PNG files and everything you need to get your animations jump-started. So, all right, look forward to hearing from you.